All right, today we're going to be talking about what does current do to the human body when you get shocked. And I got a volunteer named Charlie who has agreed to give his life force to show us what happens inside your body. And let me introduce you to Charlie the hot dog. Does anybody know what a hot dog's made out of? You probably don't want to know or you'd quit eating these things. But basically, it's a combination of meat and moisture and it very closely represents the human body. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Charlie on this special hot dog cooker that we prepared for him. And we'll just slide him on there. And what I got here is a, there's going to be 120 volts applied to the hot dog. Current's going to flow through him. And what we're going to observe is he's going to cook from the inside out. The ground rod is disconnected. I'm connected into a GFCI. And as soon as I plug this thing in, I should have 120 volts across the hot dog. So I'm going to put my safety glasses on. And I'm going to put my rubber gloves on because this is going to be energized. Now, those of you sitting in the front row, you may want to move back a little bit. One of the things I've learned over the years of doing this test is hot dogs are like people. No two hot dogs are created equal. And I never know what these things are going to do. So if it blows up, it's going to spray hot dog guts out across those of you in the front row. So you may want to move back a little. All right, so we're going to plug Charlie in. And what do we see? Absolutely nothing. So let's take our voltmeter. And let's just see how much voltage we're putting on Charlie. So I put it across the two terminals. And I measure 120 volts, right on 120. Do you see anything happening with the hot dog? Nothing. Nothing is going on. Now this, because the ground is disconnected, represents you with a drill that somebody cut the ground pin off on. And it shorts out, and now you're laying on the ground held on to this drill, and you can't let go, and you're getting cooked like Charlie. Now we're starting to see a little bit of smoke coming out of the end of him. And that's very common with what you'll see on an injury. You'll have an entry wound and an exit wound, all right? But externally, what do we see on Charlie, other than smoke coming out the end of him? Nothing. So let's look and see what happens that as soon as I establish a ground I should hear my GFCI trip, right? Charlie's sitting here just cooking away, but externally, do you see anything? No. Watch. Did you hear the GFCI trip? As soon as I got a ground circuit, my GFCI tripped. All right. So let's take Charlie. He's now dead. He's laying on the floor dead. What do you do on an accident when somebody dies? EMT show up. They pick him up. And they do what? They haul him off to the hospital. Do we see anything on Charlie? Nothing other than an entry and an exit wound, which is very common. What happens to a dead person when he shows up at the hospital? They do an autopsy. So let's take Charlie, and we're going to do an autopsy on him and see if he cooperated with us to show us what happens to the human body when you get electrocuted. There's what happens. This, guys, is your guts, your liver, your kidneys, your vital organs. Externally, nothing. He's got a little bit of a temperature, but no external damage. Everything has been done internally, and his guts have been cooked out. Now, here's the scary part. This happens every time you get shocked. The order and magnitude of it depends on the duration of the shock and the, and the value of it. 20, 30, 40 years later, your kidneys fail, and you don't know why. And it could have been as a result of getting a big shock back in your 20s. So the bottom line, guys, the message here is be safe, wear your rubber gloves, and don't get shocked.